Hi, how's it going? This is going to be a little bit of a different video. A lot of you probably know me from my Grimgar or my Isekai content that I put here on YouTube. Um, just an FYI, I know a lot of you don't know this. I actually kind of hate Isekai. <laughs> like, I like Grimgar and I like certain Isekai stories and certain Isekai, like, you know, anime and light novels. A good example is probably Konosuba. I love Konosuba. Eminence of the Shadow is actually pretty good as well, but I, I don't care for most isekai if I'm being entirely honest. And that's what leads me to talk about today's topic. So, a story that came out a little while ago called Dungeon Lord by Hugo Eska is a isekai, technically. It, it's, it's a RPG light, it's an isekai. It's just for western audiences isekai, and don't let the name change, uh, like, you know, confuse you. Most RPG lights aren't any better than, like, Japanese isekais. They have a lot of the same problems, and they bother the shit out of me, if I'm being entirely honest. But, Dungeon Lord does something that I think a lot of stories in the isekai or RPG light don't do as well. They make the characters and the story feel more... Fun, but if you, to me, I think it's a lot more fun and a lot more playful because these characters are all coming off as actual people. They don't just shoot out one-liners and come off feeling like Star Wars and Disney comedy. Which, for the record, if you guys like RPG lights and you like this book over here, He Who Fights Monsters. I'm so I hate this fucking. I hate it. I hate it. I do. I couldn't get past the first five hours of this thing. It on Audible. I was linked to it. It was insufferable. He's an Australian isekai protagonist, but he doesn't use the word fuck or cunt. This character was throwing out one-liners constantly and like making fun of people that he really realistically shouldn't be making fun of because he could get in trouble and could be killed at any moment because he starts the story very weak and he still won't shut the hell up. And it just came off like really try hard. They're trying to be really funny and it just did not work for me. It just felt like I was watching a, a modern Star Wars or modern Marvel movie and it just did not work. The comedy honestly felt very flat for me and there was entire sections where they went on for way too long about stats, and I was bored out of my mind. And quite frankly, this dude just didn't feel like a person to me. But that's- maybe that's just me. Now that I've made enemies with the He Who Fights Monster fan base, I apologize. But, Dungeon Lord is coming back, because originally the story actually, like, dropped off the face of the earth, because the writer kind of just, like, fucked off for a little while, and he's not on social media at all, and everyone kind of, like, lost hope. But it turns out, Dungeon Lord is back, and he's coming out soon. Here, they already have a cover for it, they have a title for it, it's called Dungeon Lord... Fuck. It's called Dungeon Lord Nightmare Kingdom, which... That's a pretty nice cover, I'm gonna be honest. At first, I thought this was actually fake, but I looked on Hugo Hesca... Hugo with good ...website, and it is on there. So it's real, it's legit, it is happening. And I plan to talk about it, and I'm just here to also just announce that... Get excited, people who like Dungeon Lords. I know I've seen some people in the comments of that one video that did like this. It is coming back. It's 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 coming back, and it's probably going to be ended with this book. I'm also expecting this book to be a fat bitch, because there's a lot of loose ends that they need to finish up here. For those of you that are not aware of why I like the book series so much, click the thing right there to actually, like, know why. Because I go into a lot of detail of why I like these books so darn much. But... I will be remaking that video because I want to make it a full review for the first book and I plan on making reviews for all the books until the fifth book comes out because I'm excited for that fifth book. Um, I hope they do well. Last video I did doing Gun Gale Online did not do well at all. It was a... It, you guys don't like Gun Gale Online or SAO. I get it. I just want to announce that. Check the links down below to see for yourself. I'll link you to Hugo Wesca's website. There is no release date for the book yet, and there is no place to pre-order quite yet. When it does come up, I'll let you guys know in our community page or in a video. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am, because I'm I'm so hyped. I'm so fucking hyped. I love these books so much. They're so good. Please go please go check them out on Audible. Actually, you know what? I'll leave a link to my Audible um stuff down in the because I have the affiliate link. I forgot why I, I could do that. So I have affiliate links for Audible and Kindle. If you guys want to check it out, you can either read it or listen to it. I highly recommend listening to it part. It's really good. Anyway, love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.